Hey, so I want to talk to you about what has been one of my very favorite AI tools, and that is Chat PDF. It is free. There is a limit on how many PDFs you can use with it. And then also, if you find you're using it so much and you would like to go further, I believe the current rate is $5 a month for unlimited questions and PDFs. So let's take a look at what this program can do. I am really excited about the ways that it's going to make it so much uh, more readily accessible for us to be thinking about research, to be integrating research into our practice, and for showing students how they can do lateral reading um, in a much more efficient way. So when you head over to chat PDF, it will ask you to upload a PDF. Um, you can upload any PDF that you would like. I have already added the PDF, Artificial Intelligence, Literacy in Early Childhood Education, the Challenges and Opportunities. So as soon as I upload it, you'll see here that it gives me some example questions. I love that. If you're brand new to using it, um, I think that's really great. It's going to help you actually get started. I can also ask it to point me to the critical arguments in this paper, please provide page numbers. Now, because I've been using Chatpedia for a while, I know that often uh, we've talked about the ways in which that ChatGPT has made up citations or has had, quote, hallucinations. Chatpdf, uh, I've tested it quite a bit, it doesn't do that. Um, again, it points me to the accurate page numbers. I've tested it very often for giving me uh, key summary pieces about a PDF, and it has yet to let me down. So again, this sort of saves me probably a good 30 minutes of combing through um, for the key arguments in this paper. I can just start by going to those pages I can also, again, for those of us who are teaching um, the art of research, tell me more about the methodology used in this research paper. And this is a wonderful way, those of us teaching students about research, for them to learn more about the methodology, to, again, uh, perhaps be uh, exposed to a range of different methodologies. Tell me three key things a K-12 educator can learn asked it, what are five debatable questions asked in this paper? And without even asking, it also points me to the page number. That's really great. I'm asking it here, what's left unanswered or needs more research? So I hope that you have some fun playing around with chat PDF. Again, this is one of the resources that I'm incredibly excited about because I think in education, we do, of course, want to be having evidence-based um, approaches to teaching and learning. And yes, combing through uh, lots and lots of research is hugely time-consuming, but now I've got a great resource that's going to help streamline that process. So chat PDF, if you use it, um, or if you are helping students understand the power of using it to become better, more sophisticated researchers, we'd love to hear more. Thanks again.